Hello, beautiful Gemini out there. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, Jupiter, Mercury, all of you. I am blown away by the views that I have had on this reading, the last one, Gemini. I'm like got a frog in my throat. I am humbled. It is an honor and a pure delight and pleasure, Gemini, to resonate with you Geminis out there, specifically at a time such as now. Gemini, I am, I don't know where to start. My ears are both ringing. I've been hearing messages, downloads coming in left and right. But above all, this is a bonus reading for you lovely Geminis, all of you mystical ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pure pleasure. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Welcome in. So I'm gonna do a special bonus reading. And this has to do with your soul path, Gemini. There's a message here for March. Mystical, magical, majestic March. Mercury, our ruler, is with Pisces, Neptune. So right now, we have Mercury in Pisces, which came in on the 9th of March. It'll go in to the end of March, to about the 27th, and then Mercury moves into Aries. Gemini, let me calm down. Be very important, Gemini. Someone I spoke to today that I did a private reading for mentioned to me, well, you know what? There's so much competition out there. Um, I really didn't feel like I would be, you know, any important. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Let me tell you, that's doubt. In order to... Use this energy well right now to be very productive. It's not a time to doubt. So if I'm going to be a, a person that you can look at. Uh, less than two years ago, I started my business off on this channel here. And I started from an Android phone, which I used to call dumb phone. I started off on that, that level. For me to reach where I am now and my numbers to shoot up. See, this is Jupiter in Pisces. Okay, there's no magic spell, dark magic here. This is the heavenly bodies are coming in to assist who, Gemini? Us. Us. This is an us abundance. We all go together, right? So I'm like, Gemini, let's get into it. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and I want to give you the messages that came out. I heard supply and demand. Okay? So Gemini, you, you have a huge... Get ready for that supply to grow now. Get ready for things here that I feel is you're gaining popularity. Among popularity, you're very popular, Gemini, with your product, your gift, okay? For some of you, let me tell you, if you need to stop and you need to think, today's the day, not tomorrow. You've already, like I'm feeling, you're ready, Spirit says. You're ready. A way for us to access the kingdom is here we're gonna get some awakening your magic messages for the collective gemini this title is going to be awaken your magic gemini because i have some magical words that match the universal laws okay show me gemini show me gemini's messages gemini we're mutable and so is pisces Two mutable energies. Like I'm saying, it's time to fly. Light codes and downloads are coming in. Today there was definitely another big day for ascension symptoms. Never ending story came out here. And see that hourglass where time is running out here. Okay? Time is running out. You may feel this energy here. Something going round and round. A sense of something here. It just never seems to stop. Right? The stress. Here, this is it, Gemini. You know that saying from rags to riches? That's how far we go this year. They said it predicted four years ago, I heard somebody say the words, an astrologer, that the crazy ass Geminis would be the ones to take the lead. Okay? So Gemini, this month, March, you could be definitely, like I feel, supplying as much information that you can get your hands on. And that's not always easy. 
but I know, Gemini, that you are definitely someone here who's seeking a lot of spiritual knowledge right now, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, okay? You're questioning everything. 31, you see, you're uncovering the answers, Gemini, to the universal laws, right? Exposing everything here. You're looking under every crack, corner, rug, you're finding, you're Alice, okay, in Wonderland. And the card is why, absolutely here. You're questioning everything, okay? Everything that's going on in the globe here, yes, you are, Gemini. You're someone here who I feel is intuitively guided by the universe to find the answers. Like I feel, awaken your magic. You're uncovering something here, Gemini, in March. And it's time to chop that wood, 42. Pencil to the paper, pencils are made out of wood. There's that sweeping of the, the, the old, out with the old to get ready for the in with the new. You're opening your door, spring cleaning is here. There's a sense of chopping wood, like I feel here. You're dotting your I's and crossing your T's. You're very engaged, okay? Penmanship apprenticeship you're on a ship here gemini and tell me like really what's going on here because you are on a ship here to the treasure island is what i'm feeling that's unlocking within you you're going places you're getting ready here like i feel and it feels like um let me see new life gemini out with the old in with the new Look at you on a pedestal. See, Gemini, you're breaking free. And you know, it's the one thing you have to accomplish stepping over first is being very vulnerable. Like if I'm triggering you about like the way I look, like my teeth or my nails are not done, there's a problem with you. You might feel, well, my nails are not ready or I don't really look that good. Listen, when you're called, you got to go. If you miss this bus, you've missed the bus. Okay, there's a lot of things that I feel I could work on that I know I'm going to invest it in myself here. These are things that you have to take your time and do. Like I'm feeling if somebody's triggered by the way I look out there, because I'm feeling somebody here who is like I feel a snake energy that could be watching me, right? That person might be triggered. It doesn't have to be that you're an evil snake. But I'm saying, Jem, you know what I'm talking about here. We're all about the A to the A uh, live, A uh, live, feeling absolutely marvelous, unbothered, new you, Gemini, and why? Because the universe did prepare us for this new day that's here, okay? This is Gemini, you have the light that will overcome the darkness because you're coming from a place that you felt was just never ending. Like this, was, was this ever gonna stop? When was I gonna feel myself again? When was Gemini going to fill themselves again? Oh, yeah, Gemini. We've been in it for like two and a half to three years, some of us longer. Like, when did I ever have to sit my ass down for seven years, eight years? I sat my ass down and I got my, where do I got my eyes? Uncovering. My eyes, I have an infection, seriously, from the reading. I need a new pair of glasses. I need to get relaxation. I need to close my eyes and rest. She's covering her eyes. She's covering her head. She has a headache, or he. Oh, and by the way, I apologize for the last reading. When the man comes out on a card, Gemini, that could have been you. You could have been either, if you're a male, you were the wealthy male. If you're the, the lady, you were dealing with a wealthy man, okay? Does that understand? You need to flip the scripts on the readings. Sometimes more, I know my mouth goes so fast, but I will try to, to go slower through the readings next time. You know, what practice makes perfect. Like I said, don't waste a day, Gemini. This is the day here to achieve your goals. But you got to believe in them. So even if I didn't believe in myself, do you think I believed in myself when I first started? But I believed in the purpose. I didn't believe me. I was like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to learn? I was someone that didn't know how to use a remote control. Abby Normal. Seriously, look at me. Abby Normal. And I'm out here. I'm expressing my views because Mercury, we are ruled by Mercury. We're meant to speak. We're meant to be motivational speakers. 
were meant to be the lighthouse in the storm. And if there ever was a storm, would you say, Dorothy, that this is a storm going on up in this world? I would say so, like I feel here. So let me help you, Gemini. I have the 963 Hertz playing by Self Healing Meditation, who I absolutely adore, okay? On YouTube, you can find them. Self-healing meditation, the 963 hertz. This is how you begin to heal. You put the earphones in your ears and you do whatever you want to do around the house, walking, outdoors, whatever. And along it will flash the words, I am, and give you the affirmations for the day. And they begin to awaken within you, your natural abilities, your gifts that are within you. And whatever competition doesn't mean anything. I cannot read as a lot of other readers out there read. There's one thing that I'm, I'm set here to help in a specific area. I'm here to help awaken the collective. You know, like Apollo. Like I said, I want my whole room to be designed about, like, literally, I'll get a little space. So, you know, I'm wacky, crazy. But I'm loving it because I'm a people person. I'm connecting all over the world. I'm sure you are, Gemini. This is the potential that you have inside of you. Look at you. We be in the garden. We come from the garden. This is our card. Number six, sixth month, June. The lovers, right? Look at us, whether you're the feminine or the masculine here, okay? It's like this is the archangel. For me, I represent Archangel Gabriel as being the messenger for Gemini. So what I'm saying here is there is a, a phenomenon that's taking place, first of all, globally. We are here to start that revolution, right? Where the light will overcome the darkness. We're here to come into alignment with what we value. What do you value, Gemini? Because I value the universe. I value God, source, creator, right? Gemini, we're chosen because we represent lovers. We're the lovers of truth. So we're very connected. We're aligned with the heavens and the ethers, okay? So we represent air, which tells me, Gemini, and for some of you, I'm only saying this because there, there could be a lot of newcomers that are new to this. So I wanted to start there. Here's your new life, right? March is the month where you're cleaning up all the old and you're surrendering. So this month is going to be on the 13th, okay, of March. We have... Um, the sun and Pisces, and it's a date that you could do an extra forgiving, an extra letting go of, an extra letting go of. I hear you cleaning your closets out, donating um, is going to be very good also. So this is the book that I suggest to you Geminis out there. It's called The Secret Door to Success, and it is written by Florence Scavo Shin, okay? She is the author of The Game of Life. I highly recommend this book. I want to read to you what was in here. And we're going to use this Awaken Your Magic. You can come back to this video if you need to. The Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. We will think of this strong east wind as a strong affirmation. Take a vital statement of truth. For example, if your problem is a financial one that never seems to end, in other words, say these words. My supply comes from God and big, happy financial surprises now come to me under grace in perfect ways. The statement is a good one. You could stop there. For it contains the element of mystery for March, right? We are told that God works in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. And then I'm gonna say one more, okay? And you can repeat after me if you wish. The waters of my Red Sea part, and I, let me say this again. The waters of my Red Sea part, I pass over on dry land. I now go forward into my promised land. Yeah. Gemini, the way for great success is here. The door is open to you here. So very powerful words to be said here from the 
mystic, okay, who was a great mystic and still is. She passed on to the next world. I love her books, okay? So I wanted to share that as a bonus with you out there, Gemini. Oopsie daisies, wait, hang on. And I had a leaf that I kept from my travels from Chicago, right? And I kept it on that page. So like I feel, everywhere you go is always a lesson. Always something to notice, okay? Oh, he wants to say this. The watchman at the gate, okay? It says, also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet, which this was from Jeremiah chapter 6, verses 17. We must all have a watchman at the gate of our thoughts. The watchman at the gate is the super conscious mind. So Gemini, this is the left brain, the right brain here. There's a sense of you coming into the balance here. So there's a sense of enlightenment here. You're, you're, you're going through, like I feel, the middle, the, the narrow pathway, which is the eye, right? The all-seeing eye. We have the power to choose our thoughts. Since we have lived in the rare thought for thousands of years, it seems almost impossible to control them. Gemini, we are ruled by air, our thoughts, right? So Gemini, you definitely did the work here. You were prepared for the time now. You have been prepared for the way for us to access the kingdom now, Gemini. We are going through the doorway. Now, I want to stop right there for a minute because I got a message. Gemini, I feel that we were definitely undergoing a spiritual warfare, right? Where is it? Before we got here, right? For some of us here, yeah, we went through an awful lot. So I want to go ahead and get an oracle of the angels for you, Gemini. I love this deck. This deck stays in my heart. Um, I feel it was a very powerful message for the collective Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March. Like I feel, Gemini, whether you're, whoever you are, you're going places. You'll be in great supply and demand. Source creator God needs you. And I feel that you are standing in service and you're the lighthouse here. This new life is you, like I feel you've made it through the gates, Gemini. You've already made it through. Okay. If anyone knows where the garden is, you do. You create it wherever you are. So Gemini, you're in the 5D, the five dimensional. Let me say that. You're in the five dimensional realm. Yeah, this is the open door for you now in Pisces season, which is lovely, both mutable both visionary, both wise, both, both of you, imagination is here. Dreams, mysticism, Gemini, fantasy, we love it. We love Pisces season, Gemini. So Mercury moves out of Pisces season into Aries. This is Gemini. Speed in your shoes, things flying, flying. And you have never alone, Gemini, number 12. Look at this. You are being protected here, okay? You have an angel over your shoulder right now. And I feel right now the spirit has is, is got you. Like I feel their hands are on your shoulders, right? One hand is on this shoulder and the other hand is right below you. Gemini, you have the world in your hand. There's an orb here, okay? Number 12, never alone in this world. Infinite potential is yours. Gemini, awaken your magic because this is the potential that is within you. I want to read these two cards to you. We're going to read number 12. And you can look at this picture. The angels are here, Gemini, to support you through this challenging moment. Look out for signs in their presence. You might notice a lot of little coincidence and strokes of luck in your life right now. This is a confirmation that you are always surrounded by the loving guidance of these divine messengers. 
Gemini, you can say these words with me if you wish. I draw on my vast reservoir of inner strength to keep moving forward. I have faith that all things will fall into divine order for my greatest benefit. I ask the universe for its guidance and always receive its help and protection. The sun will rise and shine for me. Positive, positive. And let's read number 41, Gemini. Strength, it's right after strength. All the potential and the resources that you need to succeed are already within you. Waiting to be discovered. Retreat into a peaceful space and still your mind. Connect with the infinite stillness of your being. F from that space, you will be able to hear a little voice of wisdom within you. And you could repeat after me. I listen to my inner voice and am guided by my inner light. I am faithful to the truth of my heart. I have always I'm sorry, I have within me all the potential and all the resources to succeed. I am always guided to what is best for me. Look at that. And there are the three. That's the, let me see. It's both here. Oh my gosh. You're right in the Pisces Vesica. You're right in the middle here, Gemini. The symbolism, I'm not yet fluent with it, but I will be doing more research. Do you see? Here's that side, feminine and masculine, divine. And this is the flame that's being lit within you, Gemini. Coming into alignment. You're balancing your feminine and your masculine here, Gemini. Look at this. And this looks like the eagle behind you. Look how high you're flying. Look the rainbow bridge and the aura that you're in. I feel... This shape here, like I feel a sacral. This is the sacral or the heart chakra that you're getting. Activation here, Gemini. Look, the doors that are open to you. Fulfillment, you're number six. The path, the doors have been open, right? This is the beginning, Gemini, of the light, like I feel, that's here, lighting your way. I feel, Gemini, this is, you have the rite of passageway. The light at the end of the tunnel is here. This is where your healing is fulfilled. For some of you, I feel that this is, you made it, Gemini. The way for us to the accessing the kingdom is here. Five-dimensional bridge is here for us. He has called you, Gemini. I feel you are chosen, okay? All right, Gemini. I'm going to leave it there. I just wanted to give you a special bonus reading and a prayer for all of my Gemini. Dear and loyal tribe, thank you all the newcomers. Thank you to all of the, the ones that have been so close and dear to me. Remember, Gemini, I'm here always if you need me. I never reach out to anyone. So if there's any scam artist, you'll never hear me reaching out. You can always find me when you need me. I will be here. Thank you. Be blessed, Gemini. I love you bunches.